All right, I'm gonna show you the Catholic origins of the Pledge of Allegiance for they say under God. I'm gonna show you how that it's a Roman Catholic in origin. I was doing some research on just the Catholic control of America, the Jesuit Catholic control of America. And by the way, I was watching this uh, Vatican Assassins video by Eric John Phelps, and he goes into a lot of detail of just how the Jesuits have manipulated countries and how they how they've you know killed their opponents and that kind of stuff. I really recommend watching this. It's a three-part series. I really recommend watching it uh, if you want to be uh, have a lot know a lot about the Jesuits and how just their wickedness and how they've how they've just how they've destroyed nations and, and how they just caused wars and everything. But I was doing some research on the, the uh, Catholic control of America, and I found that the Pledge of Allegiance, where it says you know one nation under God, the under God part was added by Catholics. And I'm going to show you that, and then I'm going to show you some scripture on swearing oaths and why you're not supposed to do that. So this is from the Smithsonian Magazine. It says, A decade later, following a, camp following a lobbying campaign by the Knights of Columbus, a Catholic fraternal organization and others, Congress approved the addition of the words under God within the phrase, One Man Indivisible. On June 14, 1954, President Dwight Eisenhower signed a bill into law. So it was the Catholic Knights of Columbus that got this thing of under God. Now, of course, the God of, well, the gods, you know, plural, because they believe in three gods with the you know, Trinity, but the, uh, all to say in their terms, the God of Catholicism is a false god. It's just that simple. Uh, the Washington Post says the same thing. Last week, Congress, Congress's 48-year-old vote to add under God to the pledge was back in the news when, when it, uh, Sorry, I'm not good at reading. I'm not good at reading on a computer. When a federal appeals court in California ruled the phrase unconstitutional, after a decision drew bipartisan criticism from the Capitol Hill, a uh, judge agreed to block his own ruling from taking effect while it is appealed. Sorry, not good at reading. Uh, what, what was the part of the article where it talks about how the under God part was put in there by Catholics? Here it is. Based on contemporary news reports and congressional reports, it is fair to say that although the Knights of Columbus, a fraternal Catholic organization, began the movement to insert the words into the pledge, a sermon by Reverend George M. Jocher Perti, I think, uh, was catalyst for action. Yeah, 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 you get the picture. But it was the Catholic Knights of Columbus that put this under God thing in their pledge of allegiance. Now, what does the Bible say about swearing oaths and pledging allegiances? Because as a Christian, your allegiance should be to Jesus Christ, not to a nation. I'm going to show you some scripture on that. Uh, here's Matthew chapter 5. This is the Sermon on the Mount. And of course, the Sermon of the, of the Mount is dispensationally in the Millennial Kingdom. It's not for us today, but it can be for instruction in righteousness, and it can be for our learning. But this is Matthew chapter 5, verse 33. On the, con the context of the passage, is Jesus talking about swearing oaths. It says, Again, ye have heard that it had been said of them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, nor that it shalt not good at reading on a computer, we shall perform unto the Lord thine oaths. Verse 34, by saying unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool. Yeah, God, this earth is God's footstool. So, you, got, you don't have to worry when you say, oh, the Jesuits, the Illuminati, God's got, God's got it covered. You know, God, he, he controls this whole world. Neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Jesus is the king of Jerusalem. Neither shalt thou swear by the head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. Uh, but let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. You're not to swear oaths. You know, you know your, your allegiance should be to Jesus Christ. That's, that's just plain and simple. So, that, so this thing of pledging allegiance to the United States of America, it's Roman Catholic. It's, it's papacy. It, it's basically pledging allegiance to the papal, state of Amer the papal states of America. Because the Catholic Church completely controls America, they have. I mean, Trump is a Jesuit, and he's been putting like so many Catholics in a high level. You know, Brett Kavanaugh, he's a Jesuit, and he's got into the Supreme Court. I mean, Trump is putting Catholic after Catholic into governmental positions of power in America. So, uh, you know, just want to point that out because the Pledge of Allegiance is completely Roman Catholic. If you're a Christian, you should not be saying the Pledge of Allegiance because one, it's by Catholics, and two, your allegiance is to God, not G not not nations. So. Uh, because it's funny, in Nazi Germany, they're doing the same thing. You have to pledge allegiance to the nation, your loyalties to the nation alone. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a Catholic dictatorship. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.